Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the 30 days plan which you have to follow for preparing math for the IP math exam. So let's move on um, each and every topic here. So what are the importance in the examination? So first topic are the progression. So under the progressions we have this arithmetic progression, geometry progression, and harmonic progression. So first you have to go through the formulas and the relations. This is the first step you have to follow. And the second step you have to follow work on the problems related to n terms of the, of the sequence and the problems related to sum of n terms of the series. And next step you have to focus on the problems related to AM, GM and HM which is nothing but the arithmetic mean, geometric mean and the harmonic mean. And uh, you have to go through the questions which are asked in the previous year examinations based on this concept. This is the first topic. And the next topic is set theory. So in the set theory we have to focus on uh, algebraic laws of sets and important results on the operation on number of elements in the sets and uh, operations on sets and next Venn diagram containing the two circles and the Venn diagram containing three circles you have to practice all this uh, learn well, level 2 level 3 problems of all these models and also the problems which are asked in the previous year examination now we'll move on to the third topic which is pair of straight lines so in this pair of straight lines you have to focus on two topics that is angle between the pair of straight lines and the condition of pair of straight lines next uh, you have to work on this concepts and also the question which are asked in the previous year examination based on this concept so by this the pair of straight lines concept will be done you have to spend uh, around two days for each topic so that uh, and the two hours on each day so that you can complete each and every topic so let's move on to the next topic which is probability so in this probability you have to focus on these areas the first one odds in favor of an event and odds against an event and we have two fair coins which are tossed simultaneously and three fair coins which are tossed simultaneously and umba has the dice which is rolled once and coin which is tossed successively three times and the two dice rolled simultaneously we have more concepts on this probability and one more thing that is deck of cards and the four dice thrown simultaneously and you have to focus on this addition theorem conditional probability multiplication theorem independent events and the law of total probability and the base rule so you have to practice uh, some model questions on this uh, concepts uh, in two days so that uh, you'll be having some grip on this concept and you have to practice the problems of all the levels not only all the levels you have to practice the questions from the previous year examinations now let's move on to the next one that is functions so the functions you have to focus on the domain and range concepts and the mainly you have to focus on the graphs of different types of functions because the in the examination the main focus will be on the graphs and next composite functions you should have an idea on composite functions and even function and odd functions maximum and minimum concepts and the inverse functions so the first priority is to focus on the graphs and next uh, focus on the maximum and minimum concepts so after that you have to focus on uh, level 1 level 2 level 3 uh, problems of all these concepts and uh, the questions you have to practice from the previous year examination and next uh, inequalities so in inequalities we have different types of inequalities rational inequalities modulus inequalities higher order inequalities and logarithm inequalities so you have to practice uh, a set of 10 to 15 questions on each of this concept and also the questions on uh, previous year examination let's move on to the next one what is logarithms so logarithms uh, instead of practicing the uh, basic problems so let's focus on the expansions logarithmic expansions and the characteristic the, you'll be getting the questions on this characteristic and applications of characteristic and uh, the mainly logarithm based problems they'll be interlinked with some other concept that is uh, uh, progression so in the previous year paper, we have logarithm links with uh, pro progression and uh, logarithms link with quadratic equations. So you have to focus on all these areas and also the questions from the previous year examination. So let's move on to the next topic, which is the uh, binomial theorem. So in binomial theorem, we have to focus on these areas, the binomial theorem of posterior integral index and next uh, general term, next binomial coefficients and number of terms and the middle terms and next uh, values of the binomial coefficients greatest term term independent of x in the expansion and the sum of the coefficients so you have to focus what you have to focus on this topics in this topics you have to focus mainly on the sum of the coefficients and same time number of terms in the expansion so you have to focus mainly on this because the questions were asked in the previous year examination based on this concept and also practice the problems which are asked in the previous year examination now let's move on to the next topic which is matrices 
so in this matrices you have to focus on this area so we have main, ma- many number of topics in matrices but the main focus should be on these topics that is product of matrices and inverse of matrices and determinant of 3 by 3 matrices and applications of determinants so you have to focus on these four areas and also practice the problems from previous year examination now let's move on to the next concept which is trigonometry so we have 11 chapters in the trigonometry so practicing all chapters will be difficult so instead of that where we have to focus you have to focus the problems which were linked with some other concepts so equation based problems linked with progression and equation based problems linked with quadratic equation we have some co- questions where trigonometry is linked with some quadratic equation and trigonometry is linked with progression and next uh, you have to practice problems based on the, on the sum multiples and transformations This This helps you in performing well in the examination and this mainly in trigonometry next uh, you have to focus on the polynomials so in the polynomials where you have to focus you have to focus mainly on the minimum and maximum values or the quadratic polynomials and also the graphs and one more thing here helcium hcf and uh, lcm of polynomials the remainder theorem and factor theorem and divisibility of polynomials and the maximum minimum values of the quadratic polynomials so in the polynomials you have to focus on these areas and in these main areas you have to focus mainly on the maximum and minimum values also uh, focus on the previous year questions which are asked based on this concepts next straight lines in straight lines you have to focus problems based on concurrency and the problems based on intercepts and perpendicularity and the problems based on equations of lines so these are the areas where you have to focus on um the main concepts which uh, will be helpful for you to answer the questions in the exam next permutations and combinations so in the permutation and combination you have to focus on linear permutation circular permutation and the problems based on p and c link up with the geometry so you'll be getting mainly p and c problems link up with geometry and the problems based on the vowels and consonants of a word so focus on these areas so you can perform well so daily we have total 50 around 15 concepts uh, 15 14 to 15 concepts so based on this if you spend around 2 to 3 hours daily on 30 days you can perform well in the examination all the best thank you